What is going on guys? Today we have got the Fantasy Foot Cup. Again, a new one with the cup scenario, obviously, this week. We have got a win 10, play 8. So we're going to go through these and see what we actually need to get this in. The Fantasy Foot Cup is now live. Jump in and compete in the club's based live foot friendly to earn untradeable rewards. So we have got an 85 plus times 2. Very nice always. We get these as a standard every week now, so it's always perfect. Play 4 gets you an 81 double. Play 8 gets you 184. 83 double for winning 2. 83 double for winning 4, 6. Well, yeah, for winning 4 and 6, you get an 84 for winning 8. And finally, all oh, beautiful, a 1083 plus, as well as the 85 double for winning 10. The question is, what have we actually got to do for this? So in terms of the Fantasy Foot Cup, you got 6 matches a day. you got ten, 10 days to do it. How long is that objective, actually? That's the big thing. Because they say 10 days, so it's until the end of the season, which is only 5 and a half days. It frustrates me this. I don't know if it's meant to be here, but we've got 10 days of it when really we've only got five. So make sure you are looking at that because once the season ends, we will lose that obviously, obviously objective unless they move it over to the milestone prior. Normally they would put it in the milestones if it wasn't anyway. So realistically, you've got six times five instead six times five so obviously that's still 30 matches to get done are you tired of using players like this i would much rather have teams more like this then i recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs they are cheap fast and reliable but at the checkout make sure you are using code jt11 for a discount on your orders back to the video you only need to win what 10 10 percent or a third of them you only need to win a third of them in the entirety so we've got classic match, uh, live out your ultimate foot fantasies whilst competing for the win in the world foot friendly, standard, classic match, max four countries, no loans. Okay, well, France United is definitely coming in here. So the question is, after we've got rid of the players that we don't normally have in the team, how many nations do we actually have? Because I think my main team should be relatively simple. I know I've got Xabi Alonso, who's technically a one on his own in Spanish. And I think it's just the starting lineup. In fact, no, it is the whole bench as well. So if we was, just going to get rid of the bench for the second. So how many clubs? We've got one, two, three, four. And then it would be, obviously, Hakimi and Messi who take it over. So if we've got potentially a right mid that could fit in that sort of position. So let's have a look at our right mids. We've got Diaby's a perfect shout. That's not a problem at all. And then obviously if we take out Hakimi as well, right back wise, I don't know personally what I've got. We, uh, we've we got Pavard, I suppose, in terms of, oh, we've got Amavi as well, actually. We'll go... We'll go Amavi. I don't I don't think I've got any other La Liga. So he still should get the free anyway. So obviously the bench does count as well. So literally go through the teams, what you've actually got, and see what your best super subs is. Remember, no loans whatsoever. So we'll put Theo down in that loans as well. Um, and we'll see if we've got Guri as well. More than enough wingers going on. We've got the right mid. We also have a Theo actually as well. Forgot that we have a better version of Theo. Do we? Oh, of course. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, oh, no, I don't have him on the on the team. Of course, we've just used his left mid. And then, obviously, we'll look at... I'm going to say Dutch, maybe. I maybe have some good super subs. I probably don't. Uh, Grab and Batch can go in there. And then I think... Is Rio in there at the moment? I think that's it. So that's that's actually it. We've actually done relatively well. We could obviously change Rio out for a Varane and have an extra link spare if we really wanted to. I can imagine a lot of people are going to go Spain, France, England, Dutch. Maybe you throw a bit of Portugal in there if you've obviously got a, a high rated Ronaldo. It will all depend on what team you're actually looking at. As well, Brazil would be a, a, a Big shout as well, to be fair to them. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. Dutch mainly for Cruyff. We've seen Benzema. Haaland is one on his own, unfortunately. You can obviously have Odengard with him. But to be honest, he's, if you've got a team of the year Haaland, you're probably worth just putting in one on his own anyway. Other than that, I think it is going to be a lot of Brazil, maybe Italy for Maldini and a couple of other players. But predominantly, we will see France. And that's all you got to do. Max four, four countries. Obviously, the bench has got to be there as well. So if you have got your starting lineup and you're thinking, hold on a second, 
it's still not working. Your bench does count as max leagues as well. It isn't just the starting lineup. But we get to use pretty much the main squad. Probably put something like an anchor on Amavi as well. Just to add any extra little bit of help for me. As obviously these normally are pretty sweaty. With obviously uh, Diaby as well. Probably go... I'm thinking finish, you know. We'll put a finisher on for right now, but we'll double check and see how that goes. But again, a great super sub that was well worth the SBC. That's not a bad card whatsoever. It does look like it'd be pretty good. And I think these are going to be his first matches for me as well. But that's going to be the team for it. In terms of what else you've got to do, it is literally now just playing them. Predominantly, you're not going to see people leaving until at least like the third or fourth day. As obviously, you've got to play eight. If you don't get to play eight, um, or if you don't necessarily are winning, in a load you've still got loads of matches to go so don't go and get a 5-6-0 hammering because you can't get the play 8 until at least tomorrow anyway so even if you wanted to do 4 or 5 today even if you wanted to do 3 you can still go do the play 8 tomorrow and get yourself the 84 plus obviously you can go and get your win 2 Two, four, six, and play four today if you was to win every single match. And again, I think it's a standard objective. You get a lot of packs back for it. Definitely worth doing if, you, if you've got nothing else to do. Obviously, if you're not doing champs, then this is going to be the perfect one. So again, another pretty standard foot, foot fantasy cup. Let me know what your thoughts are and what are the four clubs or four nations that you're going to be using in your squad. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace. Check out the video on screen.